Imagine being invited to a once in a lifetime Willy Wonka experience where candy cane gardens thrive and rivers flow with endless chocolate that magical Oompa Loompas surround working hard for your greatest desires. To then be hit with a sudden snap back to reality on a level of disastrous proportions. You enter this barely decorated warehouse straight from a liminal fever dream consisting of some less than impressive designs, absolutely no chocolate and some very interesting characters. After exploring what seems to be a sad attempt at a Wonka experience that consists more of crying children and uh, drug dealing Oompa Loompas seemingly serving you candy from this suspicious looking table instead of the magic factory you were promised. As you're just coming to terms of what you've walked into, you realise the whole experience is now ending abruptly and police are now on their way to investigate due to disgruntled parents and less than impressed children that fear an unknown character popping out at them from behind these mirrors. It's not quite the experience you paid $45 for, but in the days to come you learn it's actually become the talk of the internet and the world are petitioning for this AI event to make a return. Because this is exactly what happened in Glasgow, Scotland. So let's pick apart what went down at Willie's Chocolate Experience and how one of the most modern day scams of our time was so successful and memeable that it's become a viral sensation. And yes, I can pronounce Glasgow. Don't panic. <laughs> Let's start off with the shady company behind this project called The House of Illuminati, ran by a man called Billy Cole. A man who actually has several other businesses registered under his name. Very little information is provided into what these other businesses involve, but one can only guess considering the company we already know about. House of Illuminati promises to blend art, technology and storytelling to provide unforgettable events. But little does the website or company tell you, it's all completely AI driven into one big scam. We'll look more into Mr. Cole later, but for now let's take a look at the event itself. It's early February 2024 and strange AI looking ads are popping up all over Facebook. Redditor prestigious try 4810 asks the community about the ads and gets an answer a lot of people overlooked. The Princess of Pink 83 explains they knew Cole and wouldn't be surprised if it was one big scam. Stating they knew him from years back, running charity scams within a charity called Goan Bank that he had actually founded himself, which did mysteriously vanish. The Redditor couldn't believe people were buying tickets for this botched event and wished the best of luck to people. Being that the tickets ranged from single entry as $45 to a family entry which was $110, those prices alone still didn't seem to alarm many people. But there was the belief that the experience was worth it because of the amazing imagery. So people came forward and handed over their money anyway. People were directed to an industrial area for the event. It was called the Box Hub Warehouse, which was classed as an event space in Wyden. Upon seeing the warehouse, people described it as looking abandoned and empty. There was quite a line as surprisingly many people had purchased tickets hoping to find some sort of Wonka magic. Alas! That was far from what parents and children stumbled into. AI generated backdrops visibly pinned on the walls, props were disarranged out of place on bare concrete floors, exposed air conditioning units killed the magic of the environment and windows were dirty without any attempt to clean or cover up. After entering the gates and crossing the sad attempt at a chocolate river, you bump into misplaced mushrooms and a giant chocolate bar no one would want to taste. Behind these are the messy sheets that make up the twilight tunnel with mirrors hiding an entity called the unknown which has grafted its own law on the internet as to what on earth this creature is the only advice given was that a vacuum cleaner could fend this creature off but <laughs> no vacuum cleaner could be seen in sight leaving children scarred with no defense but their parents You'll be less than surprised to know that the unknown had nothing to do with Willy Wonka, but an entity created by Cal just for this event that's supposed to rival Willy. 
After being chased around by this frizzy haired creature, you enter the Oompa Loompa's territory, where only two jelly beans are allowed, because there isn't enough to go around it seems. Unless you're wanting a photo with these unpaid actors, you'll then move to an area containing a rainbow gateway where lemonade is offered, only a quarter of course, to quench your thirst before you get on the bouncy castle that barely takes up the corner to end your magical journey. Of course, seating was provided for more than pissed off parents. As the day continues into lunch hour, parents become increasingly loud and almost violent towards the event organiser and staff, calling it a scam and demanding their money back. Actors were unsure what to do in the moment as they didn't know a whole lot themselves. Without warning, it's then announced the event was cancelled and everyone was to go home with promises of refunds. Police were then called by a parent and arrived on scene to investigate, but in Scottish law, people cannot be arrested for hosting distasteful events and our event organiser, Billy Cole, was let go. As for our actors who enjoyed such a morning, they all decided to hit the pub. I'm not even joking, they literally went down to the pub for the afternoon to banter over what they just went through. In the days after, parents were appalled and demanded the refunds be paid as some came from more than two hours away. Many described the event as a con and a scam. Facebook users claimed they did receive their money back, but others also claimed to receive only half or nothing at all. Then there were also those that turned up but didn't even get to see the event as it was already closed. They paid travel and ticket costs as well and should have ultimately been refunded as priority. It turns out it wasn't just the participants ripped off, it appears staff were not paid a cent either. Paul Connell who played Willy Wonka offered a free show to all the children who attended and event centre Box Hub offered a free future venue for anyone who attended. But wait, what did Billy Cole actually do as an apology besides these botched refunds? Nothing but a statement apologising and announcing there will be no more events hosted by House of Illuminati. Because there are plenty more companies Billy owns or can create, so no skin off his nose it seems. The only other gift Billy gave was the deletion of his LinkedIn, personal website and YouTube channel. Seems more of an embarrassment move than a justice given one. Considering Billy Cole's past and the way that this event was weirdly put together, it is safe to say that people probably wouldn't be receiving any refunds had it not became as big as it has online. And unfortunately his scamming ways would have continued through his AI books, his strange and mysterious companies and botched AI events. I tried it on and we were all just laughing, I was like contemplating do I just walk out this this is just too much like I can't deal with this many of the actors have now come forward explaining their take on the event including dispirited meth lab owner Oompa Loompa sorry AI generated name wonky doodle Kirsty Patterson 16 year old Felicia who played the unknown and most driven of them all Paul Connell who played the infamous Willy Wonka at the event actually came forward on TikTok and Reddit to answer questions and explain the situation from his point of view it also seems that the AI generating goes further than what we first thought Paul had less than 24 hours to learn a 15 page script generated entirely by AI gibberish his character was not Willy Wonka, but Willy McDuff, created to avoid copyright with Warner Brothers and Ronald Dahl. He was expected to talk about squirrels being good conversationalists, and for the audience to bring a spare pair of socks. This was only some of the crazy script he was supposed to go off. Paul of course ended up improvising his role for the children, as every good actor does. Paul also explains much tech was missing as promised by the website, including giggle grass, and bubbles that were supposed to bloom around the set from a giant flower. Paul also explained Billy Cole wandered around all morning barking orders in his ear, then disappearing constantly. I was told that there would be lots of special effects, there would be lights, there'd be sound, there'd be projections. So I think when I was reading this script of, of absolute nonsense, um, I was thinking, oh, well, this will all make sense when I arrive. <laughs> this story was supposed to end here, but unfortunately, or Fortunately, this event started to trend on TikTok. News articles started speaking about it, and Redditors began the train of memes, particularly around the unknown character. News continued to spread of this piss poor event online and ultimately received mixed opinions, as well as forming a full on cult following. People started calling the event organiser a genius and that the event needs to continue. The 29th of February rolls around and the entire internet is talking about Willy's chocolate experience that in a 
amassed following has started a petition and is wanting to bring back the Glasgow Wonka event, with over 7,000 signatures to date demanding the reopening as it would bring huge amounts of tourism to Glasgow and other event areas. As for Billy Cole, after his sad attempt at refunding people, it seems he's vanished entirely from the internet. I honestly don't think we'll be hearing from him for uh, quite some time after such a viral embarrassment. I don't think of all the years of being on the internet I have ever seen a literal scam become such a historic event and capture such interest on the internet to be turned into this cult classic. And this all happened in a matter of weeks. Oh and it gets better. A Scottish company called Caledonia Pictures has announced a horror movie based off the unknown character from the event. That movie is apparently coming out later this year. The event has also made waves in the gaming community as as many Fortnite and Roblox experiences as you can count, as well as more indie games coming up in the future, only proves how powerful this cult following has become. With hundreds of parents out of pocket and many, many children scarred by this AI powered event, it really does prove how powerful powerful AI is in the hands of many. And many people who are unaware are still fooled by AI's appearance, now more than ever. This is a laughable situation, regardless of how parents and children are feeling right now, I'm sorry, but it will really go down in history as what AI can do in the hands of a scammer. But it does prove the point that AI will never actually be used entirely for good, and that criminals and scammers will get their hands on the technology. It also marks a strong reminder to people, please do not just instantly believe what you see on social media. Do your damn research people and run off the golden rule if it's too good to be true, it almost certainly will be.